This is the third video in my series of visual recognition with IBM Watson and Python. In the first video I showed you how to do image classification. In the second video I went through um, text recognition. And in this video I'm going to show you how to do face detection and facial recognition. So make sure to check the first video um, to register for a free IBM Bluemix account to set up your Python environment in case you want to follow along. So opening up a Python shell, let's do from Watson developer cloud import visual recognition v3 version 3 as vr now we're going to create an instance of visual recognition using our Watson API key which I have it on my clipboard you'll get it from your IBM Bluemix account in the section of your visual recognition service and service credentials you have it right here so API key and the version is going to be from 2016 May 20. Once we have our visual recognition instance created, we just simply do detect faces. So it's instance. detect faces and we're going to use an image images URL equals we're going to select an image from the web I've searched Google images for JSON data and let's just pick any image from here. How about this one? View image. Copy image. Location. Paste. OK. So it's instance. Now let's see what we got. So we have the results here. Uh, I'm going to show you what, why I've used a celebrity image in a moment. But first of all, this is JSON format. And as I've said earlier, it's kind of messy. The detect faces module um, provides a result that includes an array of the faces detected in the image. So in this case, the our image was processed an array of the faces an array of image information about a detected face the location of the face that is the geometric location within the image so it it is like a boundary rectangle that 
encapsulates the face within the image. Um, the gender of the detected face and the identity uh, if we're talking about a celebrity. So that's why I've used Jason Statham. Uh, the name of the identity, so we'll see if it uh, detected state M in our instance. Um, and the result is provided uh, with confidence scores for age, gender, and identity. So Watson will tell you how confident it is in terms of percentages about the age, gender, and identity of, uh, of the person detected in the image. And the JSON result also provides other information that may not be as relevant. So to get the the identity in this case if we want to see who is the person who is the celebrity that Watson detected in the image we'll have to um, go down the JSON tree so in this case I don't have to use a for loop like I've used in in the written tutorial which I'm gonna link to in the description I don't have to use a for loop because there is only one um, person in the image. So I'm just going to go uh, down to JSON3 by using image, images, zero, faces. Okay. Let's try and see if we can get better results with, I mean, a better visualization of the result with pretty print. So pretty print, pretty print, image, images, zero, faces. Yep, so it says age 44 maximum and a minimum. So a minimum age of 35 and a maximum age of 44 of the person in the image. I'm not sure how old Jason Statham is right now. So Watson's confident in, confidence interval for this prediction is 52%. Uh, the face location, so the the geometric location of the face within within the image is this one. The gender of the of the the person detected in the in the image is male, ninety eight percent confidence. And the identity, in this case, we're dealing with a celebrity, is Jason Statham, and a confidence score of 92%. We are not able to see the boundary rectangle uh, within uh, the Python shell, but uh, in your Bloomix account, IBM has a section where has a demo section of the visual recognition service. So if we paste the image URL over here in the visual recognition demo, let's see what are the results. So you have the boundary rectangle that you have it over here as 400 as height as these are the coordinates basically the geometric coordinates of the rectangle within the image so this is face detection and facial recognition in three or four lines of code with uh, the obligatory errors that uh, 
I cannot go without. I may explore facial detection and uh, face recognition in a future tutorial with, in a more detailed way with uh, simple computer vision or open computer vision, which are two different modules. So don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.